Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest Hall of Famer in WWE Champions and a two Brutus, Brutus the Barber, Beefcake Hall of Fame. I know everybody is absolutely stoked, absolutely stoked that it's Brutus and not like Kane or Mick Foley, but I don't hate it. Look, we only have one Brutus. Now we have a second. He's in the Hall of Fame. I'm all for getting more legends in the game in a Hall of Fame way. He is an aggressive trickster. See, he's a trickster, but he's not focused and he's not female. So male aggressive trickster, totally fine with me. Hall of Fame coach ability. Green moves that deal damage will deal 30% more damage. And moves that generate green gems will create three more green gems. Um, so interesting that they're making this a coach and not a trainer for a Razar replacement. Hopefully now that Authors of Pain are back on television, we can see that trainer ability being recirculated. He does have gears. I will not be using them in this preview, but Trap Gems do 75% more damage for one gear. All color moves start with four more move points for both. And your standard Hall of Fame link, all color moves start with four more move points. A couple different builds we're going to take a look at. The first one is a, a health steal defensive sub build, and then the rest of them are gem damage based. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Belly to back suplex, six MP green move, choose six gems to make into black gems. The big boot, six MP green move. Deal 115,731 damage and choose six gems to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into trap gems when broken by you. If the trap gems are broken by your opponent, steal up to 134,000 health. If broken by you, deal 142,933 damage. And then the sleeper hold 7 MP black submission. Choose 10 gems to make into purple submission gems and do 196,533 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 80,400 damage and increase your black gem damage by 30% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. If broken by you, good God, this is wordy and scrolly. Uh, deal 111,666 damage and make four random gems into black gems. So two different sets of trap gems on the board, uh, primarily focused on the ones generated from the snowfall gems for this build. Entourage for this, uh, George the Animal Steal for four more green MP, Zombie Kevin Owens for three more submission turns, and 20% more black gem damage, Rocky Johnson for 50% more sub damage in an extra turn. And then Showboat Shinsuke Nakamura moves and gems, trap countdown juggernaut that steal health, will steal 100% more health. So these trap gems, um, if the opponent breaks them, which is the hope by laying them out before we apply the submission, uh, will steal up to 268,000 health per gem. Now for the belt, I just have a regular um, Fury 2 set on, nothing crazy going on here. Um, we are doing the prey in the night plate. Whenever you break three or more black gems, get three green move points. That's going to help us recycle. It might be a turn or two slower depending on the board, uh, but that's fine. And then I have the last ride plate on. Whenever you make 15 or more trap gems, increase your green gem damage by 200% for one turn. Uh, that plate is really on for the next build we're going to take a look at. It's basically going to be this, but with gem damage focus instead of sub and health steal. Uh, but that is the belt we are currently using. Again, no gears. Let's go against a showboat with a lot of health and see how quickly this drains. All right, so you want to put the snowfalls out first. All right, choose six to make into snowfall gems. Let's go here. And then 
I do have max Twerperk, so it's giving me four instead of one. Choose six to make into black gems. What you should do is a four match there. You might need to make all um, all six, depending on your perk situation. Uh, but that's going to trigger the traps. Doing 53k on those now. Uh, choose 10 gems to make into purple submission gems. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I am going to do this. Because that's going to steal some recycling ability for me. So that's always an option too. I could have done that if there was a black match as well. But just look to see if you have a green or a black match you can cascade into with the submission gems on the board. Um, he started with like 15 million health, didn't he? It's kind of neat. Uh, if you have acro snoop, by all means use that. Get the seventh gem. And we cascaded. Nice. Pray in the night plate, though. Clutch. He's going to damage himself here anyways. Uh, we don't need to make a match of any kind. So let's just do that. So this is probably what I would end up running on defense if I was setting him up for a defensive focus build. Subs, snowfalls, health steal when they try to break out of the sub. Uh, actually, six to make into black gems. They love giving me that yellow four match right afterwards. And then just kind of scatter those around. Don't feel like you can't place over these trap gems either. And then he takes that match to uh, drain the rest of his life for us. And we finished the match with full health. So not fast, but I wanted to start with an annoying defensive build so we could switch everything afterwards to gem damage focus. Uh, so let's go set up some gem damage builds. So now we're going to take a look at the build that uses the last ride plate, running both of the green moves again, bringing in black two, which is the running single leg high knee, six MP, deal 118,813 damage, and choose a four by six area to swap into green gem. So we are doing green gem damage focus. Steel for green MP, powerhouse booker for a flat 12K, showboat Lex for a flat 12K, and Santa Hogan for whatever you happen to have him at. It's that easy. Um, for the belt, so we're going to do the Prey in the Night plate again. The build self-recycles, but the plate is there just in case something goes horribly wrong. And this is where the last ride plate is going to come into play, boosting our green gem damage by 367.48% uh, with all of the belt things on it. Uh, whenever you make 15 or more trap gems, increase your green gem damage by 200% for one turn. Let's see how this looks. All right, so we're starting at 57.8 on our green gems. Put your six up top. Choose six to make into black. Don't feel like you got to place all of them. Just get that four match up top. And now we're up to 81. So when we break the trap gems, we're going to do an additional 142,000 damage per on top of the 81,000 from the gem itself. Make a four by six into green. I think I'm going to go here because we're going to attach to two more green gems. Maybe he matches a little bit on these sides. On his kick out attempt. 5.9. So that's okay. In my testing, it was between 5 and 7. Uh, 
But then that happens. And we just, we heal ourselves right back up when he breaks them. And we are fully recycled. Might cascade here. Just kidding. Uh, so back up to 81k. Try to make as many of those traps as possible. 5.9 again. So like on average, 6 mil with just the flat green gem. Santa Hogan and the, uh, the last ride plate. Probably not who I would put the la I'd probably still put that plate on Dexter. Uh, but it is nice to see that there's another option for it now with Hall of Fame Brutus. All right, let's go take a look at something else. We're going to switch focus and go to purple gems now, which is his primary color, bringing in the finisher, which is the atomic drop 10 MP. Deal 178,666 damage and increase your purple gem damage by 120% for one turn, then it's combo move, deal 89,333 damage, and make 34 trap gems into purple gems. The 6 MP running clothesline purple move deal 115,740 damage, and choose a 4x1 area to swap into purple gems. And we are going to be running this with the big boot, which is Snowfall Gems when broken by you makes trap gems. And when those trap gems are broken by you, deal more damage. Entourage for this double MP trainers. Doesn't mean it's bad, though. Woods for purple, steel for green, Santa for some flat gem damage, and that plus one MP if you have them at 17k. And Masters of the Universe, Ray Mysterio. For 12,000 flat to the purples, for the belt, Fury 2s, and a glowing phantom plate. This is going to make you recycle. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three green move points at the end of your turn. You might not need to recycle, but just in case something goes horribly wrong, this is going to refill the snowfalls for you. Let's see what this hits for. So these two are loaded on turn one. Go ahead and put those out. Choose a four by one to make into purple. Do not accidentally make a five match. You want to do a four match to just get everything broken. As you can see, glowing phantom plate helped. You don't need to hit this again. Finisher is loaded and ready to go. Turning all of these purple, even if we don't end up with a green cascade, will fill the big boot. Atomic drop finisher. Boost your gem damage, turn all of those drops. 11.6 mil on turn one. Uh, not bad for just some regular old free-to-play shit, am I right? Not bad for some regular old free-to-play shit. And it recycled. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at something else. Next build, we're bringing in more trap gems. Yes, more trap gems. And um, the 6 MP, 6 star move, which boosts our black gem damage. Uh, the full Nelson Slam, 7 MP, deal 132,543 damage. And choose 4 rows to make it a trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 80,400 damage. And increase your black gem damage by 30% for 2 turns. Does not affect bonus damage. If broken by you, deal 111,666 damage and make four random gems into black gems. So the submission leaves behind similar trap gems. Like you've probably seen this before. It's because we had a sub that, that did this. Um, but now we have four rows. Run and clothesline, choose the four by one to swap into purple. And then the body slam, six star move, 119,233 damage and increase your black gem damage by 136% for one turn. Does not affect bonus damage. Now for this build, you're gonna need Mellow to get the most out of it. You could do um, both woods for double MP trainers. You'll lose a little bit by getting rid of Naka that way. It is doable with double MP trainers, but Mellow for me doing black and purple is super beneficial to this build. 
Um, King Naka for 12K flat. Zombie Edge for 12K flat. And then Santa Hogan for whatever you happen to have him at. No uh, plate on this one. But this would be, I think, um, the ideal build for the new skill plate coming out this weekend. The Barber's Blades, which is a T6 skill plate, Jan 2024, Brutus Beefcake Disc. Which, um, in, <clears throat> in layman's terms... Whenever you make six or more trap gems, increase your black gem damage by 75% for one turn. It's on the blog. I'm not just making it up. It's on the blog. That's what the plate does. Uh, description is just not currently loaded in the game. I'm also not using the plate for this preview because I want to try to keep it as simple as possible. You'll have to stay tuned for the run it back for the gears and the plate. Uh, but we are going to look at this with Mellow. Maybe I'll do this again without Mellow just to get an idea of what it could hit for. There's also a ton of different ways you could play this. I like my tricksters tricky. I say this all the time. We can either play for turn two and let him load up the trap gems for us, or we can just try to blow up the board turn one and see what happens. So let's blow up the board turn one and see what happens. String 60k per black gem. And put those down there. And then we're going to risk it for the biscuit here, folks. Because I see a five match at the top. Ooh, and we got rid of the wild card. Ooh, let's go. All right. This would have been the ideal one to have the plate on because we're able to double stack it. Da -da -da. Increase your black gem damage by 136% for one turn. Up to 143, and then make it rain. We're only going to take out the top row, and then see where this all falls. I don't have Zombie Sean to get more out of that. But with the way it cascades like that, I don't think you need him. Uh, but a casual 12-ish mil. A casual 12 mil. Uh, but let's run that back and see if we can get the opponent to kind of feed us a little bit. I'm going to choose our rows. He's probably going to look for some yellow matches, so we're going to cover those up. And I didn't think this through because we need to give him a turn somehow. Okay, that worked out great. Kids, put the trout gems at the bottom. Now, how much is he boosting this? 13. Do we have... Oh, scary hours. Ah. We lost it all, didn't we? No! No, want, want. Well, listen. Maybe a different opponent that isn't going to pin, but whatever. Whatever. Live and learn. We still cracked him. We still cracked them, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, one more build I want to take a look at for this preview. Again, probably going to need Mellow. Sorry. Uh, but let's go set it up. Last build we're going to take a look at for this preview is Full Nelson Slam, which is the Four Rows of Traps, the Sleeper Hold Submission, which is a Choose Purple, and the Body Slam, which is an Increase Black Gem Damage. Once again, Mellow is money for this. Um, you can do double MP trainers in Woods and uh, Woods, checks notes, uh, but Mellow here is going to be a game changer for this. We're sticking with the flat black gem entourage. We are bringing in the Rhonda's jacket plate. No drip, no new plate coming out this weekend. No problem. Rhonda's jacket plate, 
still doing big things. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. So we are doing 245 on the belt. 245 on the belt. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see how this looks. So the reason Mellow is so important here is we're going to be able to put out these trap gems twice. The first time we put them out, we want to put them somewhere that's going to target um, our opponent's primary color. They're probably going to want to take that yellow match. So we cover that up, hoping that they take it. And then we need to refill our purples. Go ahead and do that. Um, he may very well take some purple matches, too. Except that's going to cover up. Well, no, they turn into trap gems, but they won't be when we... You know what I mean. Uh, and don't feel like you need to place them all if you find things are getting a little hectic. They're happy little subs. Took the yellow match. Got Damn. Okay. Thanks, homie. That four break was mad generous. Uh, so we're up to 322k on our black gems. We're going to hit the boost now because it's only a one turn boost. Uh, the Rhonda's jacket plate is two turns though, which is nice. Going to put out four more rows and we're going to swipe after this. So we want to make sure we cover up something we're going to swipe. Because this is what's going to cascade the black gems. Now pray for Mojo. She doesn't have zombie Sean. That worked out real nice, though. 31.4, turn two. Thirty-one point four, and and that board had like no black gems on it, so it is slot machine, uh, but it can pay out quite nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Brutus Beefcake. Hall of Fame. Yes, they gave us a Hall of Fame, Brutus. We are not worthy. Uh, coach ability at 26k. Green moves that deal damage will deal 30% more damage. And moves that generate green gems will create three more green gems. I guess this is in line with the Chelsea Green. Sorry, Chelsea Green um, style of coach. She is for red. Um, but would have liked to see another green gem trainer maybe soon with AOP being back in the picture maybe. Um, again, he does have gears. He does have a plate. This preview used none of it. Not the territory in Canada. Um, none of it. Um, but stay tuned for the run it back. I'll toss on the gears. We'll take a look at the plate. We'll see what the top end looks like. Maybe I use a drip plate. Maybe the light goes on. I don't know. We'll see. But let me know what you think. In the comments of this video, I think fairly straightforward, basic setups. Yeah, Mellow is super, super handy here. Um, you can do the double um, the black and purple MP trainers, though. So curious to hear what everyone thinks. And again, stay tuned for the Run It Back, where we will showcase the higher end of this character. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend.